Howdy, I'm Callum, also known as Dover Nice, and we're taking a two. Taking a two, we're having a take two. On our recorded play of God Tear with analysis throughout and post match analysis as well. If the sound dies, this will all be very quick and it'll be over in five minutes. If not, we should get a decent play out of this. I'm going to skip all of the nonsense. We've got Black Jaw and Nia against Jack and Styx. We've got two Shaper champions, we've got one Guardian champion, we've got one Maelstrom champion. No Slayers. I didn't find that Lausanne and Jack were a good combination. It became a battle of two halves. As you can see, I have mishmashed my warband. My partner has very well segregated the yellow people and the green people, being the person that she is. You can chuckle about it all you want. There is a clear divide. I mean, if you want to chuck one of your, you know, unburnt just reavers... Just one over here, yeah. just, just to mix it up, be really crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that it does look like he's running away from them. You've chosen the wrong model for that. <laughs> <coughs> just a quick reminder, or brief if you're not aware, Jack is special because he can attack inside of the preparation phase. Styx is special because he's fantastic at moving things and his Abyssal Hounds have 4 HP instead of 1, but when they're knocked out they're worth 2 on the victory track then, rather than the one. Um, Nia is special because she's excellent at getting those extra actions in while she's got a quartz things, and they are fantastic at making a line of defense. And Blackjaw is just, is it Blackjaw? It is. Mm. It's just brilliant at taking out other people's followers and getting a shed load of points. And those minions of his can be nasty if used as a group. Are we ready to go? Yep. Sweet. I will kick off then, and I am going to kick off with, I think I'm going to kick off with sticks, and I am going to go one, two, three, and then I'm going to start by placing my banner down. Flip over Jacques, because he is finished. I'm then going to, my cauldron cronies can also do attacks during their preparation phase, but they can't attack during the clash phase, can they? No. Which sucks for them. But their banner is, uh, because Jack's banner is out, they get plus one aim and plus one damage, but that's not going to matter because we're not going to get any. So instead I'll just move them all three. One, two, three. And these three are going to stick as a band and go one, two, three. Remembering that followers can't go on God tears. That's Jack and his crew done. And now we're on to Styx, who I think is superb, but my goodness is he hard to utilise at all times. I'm going to use the Abyssal Hounds and go one, two, just give everyone a bit of backup. One, two. And. I'm then going to. Because they're both still. Ooh, no, they're not within two. I'll skip that one then. And instead, I'm just going to end their turn because I was going to get them to move again, but they're no longer in range of sticks. I'll get sticks to move two. One. Two. Oh, his model is fantastic. And I'm going to end Styx's turn there as well. It is now all you. Okay. I think if I remember rightly, they were awful to me last time. Uh, the Cauldron Cronies. No, no, the, uh, the Hounds. The Hounds? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were very good at dragging your people around. Mm. But they're worth two if you can take them out because they're large followers. Yeah. Okay, let's start with Nia. And oh, she's very slow, isn't she? She is, but she's fantastic at getting the defence out, isn't she? And she gets a bonus and action. And I can move her up to so I can move a one and then I can move her uh, March's move her up to one hex, mm. so we'll move her again. You're not gonna use your bonus action over you know what um. range. She can make a bonus activation, yeah. Um, oh no, I can. I could use meditation, so she gains an extra aim. Ooh, okay. And then the court slings. Right, these all guys need to move, so they can all move two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. It always works. In a line. Yeah, you walk them as a wall. They like to come in a line. Yeah. I don't like that. And then I'm not in range, am I? Nope. Um, I think we'll have to leave those there. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, and then we've got Blackjaw. Let's use him first. Uh, 
black jaw. So he can move three, so he's got quite a good movement. One, two, three. I'll put this down. Second action. We are playing the life scenario, so whoever loses will roll the dice, add two, and get to place more god tears adjacent to already existing ones. So last time we played death where the map rescinded, and now we're playing life where the map will expand. So it should become less competitive as long as the, we just focus on those banners. I did remember now, I placed that with Jacques, so he gets plus oh. one step when he has his banner on a Drix phase at the end. So that's one, because he doesn't get the bonus, and then you've just placed yours, which yeah. is back one. Right, so just got my Inverted Reavers. Um, they can move three, so they can go... These are together, aren't they? Mm -hmm. One, two, three... One, two, three, one, two, three. Don't forget your little, your token weaver on the far end. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Very good. Okay. Uh, hang on, that's only one move, isn't it? Oh, sorry. I forget because you've got so many men. I don't think there's anything actually they're in range of, though. No? Um, each, you choose a hex, each unbent weaver in that hex may be up to two. Um... I'm going to move these guys further forward, so they're a little bit closer. Okay, okay. He's a bit top heavy. I'm done. <clears throat> right then. I am going to... I just thought a beep, is that my camera? Has it turned off? No. Is it still counting? It's still counting. My goodness. I'm hearing things. I did hear it too. It is definitely still recording. I can see it counting, yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry. After the audio issue last time, I'm just panicking about it, that's all. Roy, I am going to kick off with... I'm going to kick off with Apparition with sticks, which doesn't require a dice roll. Move one objective hex within range... One hex towards sticks onto a not empty non-objective hex. Models on the uh, location move with it. So I'm going to move this Ooh. to here. You're protecting that. I'm not daft. I'm not daft. I'm then going to, with sticks, move two. I'm going to go one. He's a big boy. You keep knocking him over. That's because that's the man who's like nearly falling over. Yeah, he is. The Unburnt Reavers together look quite menacing, but individually look quite comical, because he looks like he's running away. He looks like he's mid-fall. Yeah, it's like he's going to fall backwards. Yeah, yeah. They're all really funny, until you put them together and then they're menacing. So that stick's fully done. It's now one of your activations. Who are you going to activate? I'm going to go my Unburnt Reavers over there first. Okay. So I'm going to use Cleaving Strike, So because I've got two of them. I get to roll four dice. Very good. I'm guessing you were attacking sticks, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Which is greater than his dodge, so you hit him. Okay, so I'm going to get to roll five. Four. Oof. Two, three, four, five, six. So it takes four hurts. Ouch, wow. That was a big hit, wasn't it? That was. May I have some hearts? How many do you need? Four. Uh, yeah, I've, I've I've lost four health, haven't I? Four damage. Okay, and then we're going to. Use the war. Should use that first war cry. So it gives me an extra. Gives me an extra aim. Okay. Cool. They're done. Your turn. All right. I think we're gonna need to get a bit of you know, revenge now. Nah, you don't need to do that. Well, I'm going to activate Jacques because he's actually got quite a lot of power behind him in terms of what he can do. In particular, he might only have one speed, but if I move him one here, it says, if Jacques's banner's on the field, after he takes an action, you may remove a wound from another friendly model within two hexes of Jack. He's not within two hexes. Oh, no. Oh, I should have done Rabbit's Foot first. Ah, oh, snap. More for me. Right, I'll just have to whack you instead. So I'm going to okay. reach over that banner and slap you one. So, for Jacques, that is two range. Four dice to see if I hit. 
I'll put this back on the camera. What is your dodge as a black jaw? Uh, three. Uh, I've rolled a two, so you're absolutely a okay at the minute. But that is Jacques finished. Oh, I knew I needed to make him move further. His move in the clash phase is awful. Absolutely diabolical. Okay, we're going to use Black Jaw. Is he close to anyone? Not really. Hmm. What are you going to do? Um. I think I'm going to get him closer first because he's not really close enough to anybody. He's not. So we'll move Blackjaw. He can move two. It's a bit risky though, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Moving right into it. And then he can... The Fiery Axe may target up to three models in one hex. Ooh. So I'm going to attack those three. Oh, that's nasty. They've been within range, so four dice. No one played this last. Blackjaw didn't interact with the Cauldron Cronies whatsoever. Three. Their dodge is four. <sighs> okay. I so think if last time we played, it wasn't Nia and Jack against Lawsan and Blackjaw. If we'd mixed it up, I think you'd have took it, because that was nasty, nasty. Shouldn't put more together. No, I shouldn't. Well, I thought if I put more together, they'd have better odds, but actually... Not against him. Well, they, they don't. They don't. Let's... Well, they get bonuses for having Jack's banner out. So let's just take advantage of that. Now I'm going to use Aggressive Chant against Blackjaw. Which is six to see if it hits but it's going to be seven because we get the bonus for having the banner out one two three four five six i roll seven to see if i hit which i'm hoping i should uh one two three four five six seven against black jaw three dodge so you lose a dodge and i get to move you one hex and i'm going to move you backwards i lose a dodge you lose a dodge on black jaw And then I'm going to choose to move them one. And this one and this one are going to move one. Coming closer to me. I'm not moving him. These two are also going to move one. That is. Oh, that is Abyssal Hound. Sorry, that is my Cauldron Crew, and he's done. I've left the Abyssal Hounds to last. Your I'm activation, what are you going to do? I'm going to go with Nia next, I think. Okay. So, again, she's not close enough yet. Really? So I'm going to have to move her to... Oh, she's in range Do now. I put that down or do I hit? You can't put it down during the clash phase, oh, okay. remember? Scrap that then. I will use... Erosion. Erosion? What are you going to erode? So I have five, six aim. Three, four, five, six. I don't know who you're aiming against. Oh, sorry, these guys. Uh, that is a four dodge. So what happens? They don't have it. They don't actually have an attack. What do you mean? I just realised. So what's the effect of it? I lose a shield. They lose a shield. Right? Mm. Lose me a shield. It's a debuff. It's not a bad thing. Mm, okay. Because these guys have only got one shield, so having zero shield means that any result is going to be a kill. I guess. Right, the Abyssal Hounds. They are going to... They've got two movements, so we're going to go one, two. One, two. And then I'm going to use Triple Bite. Make three hit rolls instead of one. For each hit, this skill has plus two. So I need four to see if I hit. And I'm going to attack... Mm, what's Nia's dodge? Four. And what's your Unburnt Reaver's dodge? Uh, three. I want to make big hits, but I think it's going to be wiser to go for... Who are you using? My Abyssal Hounds. No, I am going to attack Nia. Ah, oh, 
to miss. And then at the end of the Abyssal Helms excavation, move up to two small followers within two hexes of the Abyssal Helms, one hex towards that Abyssal Hound. Two small follower models within two hexes. I'm going to drag these to here. Is that right? Yeah. Move up to two small folds within two hexes of an abyss hand. One hex, apologies, so they can move to there. Okay, I know I've used it on my own guys, but I have got a game plan. Okay, believe you. Yep, yep, many wouldn't. Right, my quartzlings are. They've got to be within two. Ooh, better get moving. Each quartzling may move up to three hexes in a straight line. You're not moving the other guy? No, I'm keeping him there for now. Okay. Very good. I think. So that's one, and then I can use stones throw against these dudes. With which one? Um, This one. Does Two. it matter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just so that I understand who you're using to attack who, specifically. Okay. That's why I keep asking you who the damages oh. are for, uh, what the dodges are, so I know... So you know who I'm targeting as well. That's fine. Three. Against my... Nope, I've got four dodge. Okay, no, ha no hit. That's okay. I've done then. So we then tot up and we would get... I've got my banner out and being a guardian champion I get plus one for having it out. So that's one, two, three, four, five. You've got your banner out, so that'd be one, two, three, four. Which means the first victory goes to me. On the flip side of that, you get to roll two dice. Uh, roll one dice, sorry. And add two. Two. So you get to add a two god tear hexes to anywhere adjacent. Hmm. Building up your side. Remember, don't wall yourself off, though. Yeah, I know. I did that with Kaylin when we played, because Kaylin can't enter god tears. Right. It's you to start. We're now playing for more points. Right, I will start with Blackjaw first, and I'm going to use him to. Gain. I don't want to move him. He's quite cool there. Um, He's cool. There. Gain a gain a move move. First, and then I'll use Evil Eye. Must target a follower. So within two, so I'll attack these ones. Yep. Uh, shall I go with that guy? Uh, no, it wouldn't matter because remember they're a collective unit. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so it's a debuff. They'll so all six. They'll all suffer from it, won't they? That is. Oh, no. oh what have you done? There's nothing as unlucky as dropping a dice. So I'm feeling quite good. Four. Against, oh no, my dodge is forced, that's a hit. What happens? They lose a shield. I've already lost a shield on them. Oh. Yeah. Can't you another one? Well, no, because they've already got zero. Damn, that wasn't smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you finish, you do everybody, don't you? And you flip them over as you go. Okay, well, that was silly. We've all been there, Chief. Right, and burn Reavers, where are they? Okay, so we'll use our my unburnt reavers on the abyssal hound. Yeah. Yep. So there's two of them, so I roll four dice. Four. Now their dodge is four, so yeah. Okay. I've got a pretty consistent dodge. So they lose a dodge. They lose a dodge. Yeah. Can I please have a debuff dodge? Dodge debuff. Thank you. And then. To move any of them. What time will you sign the one? Five minutes. We've set timers for the camera because annoyingly the camera can only record for 30 minutes at a pop and doesn't give you warning when it's finished. I'm going to move this guy up to two hexes. 
Does it just move any unburnt weaver? Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. Nia is going to use meditation first to gain a extra aim. And then Nia is going to probably not move because... Hmm. Actually, yeah, I'm going to move her back one. Okay. Do a bit of distance. And then fire my quartzlings. Within two. Yep, they're within two. Uh, four dice and you shimmer. Two. Again, so you have to tell me who you're targeting. I'd say these, these guys. Sorry. Got four dodge. Uh, yeah, four dodge, they've not okay, been debuffed. Okay, they didn't, certainly didn't get her then. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention, I was daydreaming. I was thinking my next moves and how I'm going to schedule what I'm going to do. I'm not going to... Uh... No? Yeah? No? I'm just about to move any of them. I'm going to start making a move around that way. Oops. Please please don't kill the one on Burn Weaver. They're fine. Okay. Right, done. Satisfied? Yep. Sweet. I'm going to start by moving sticks. He's going to move into the action and go one, two to here. He's then going to use Arrow is Nigh, which is a bonus action. And he can give an enemy model minus one defense. And I'm going to use that on Black Jaw. That's just an outright. Oh, Black Jaw's got a few things going on. Yeah, there. Black Jaw's not looking too hot. And then I'm going to end Styx's turn. I'm then going to get... Jack. Ooh, wait. No, I'm going to use the Cauldron Cronies. And we're in a range of three. I can get them to get Jack to deploy his banner. Which they're going to do. Which gives me one. Oh, it's right on the lip. I'm then going to use Eye of Newt with these two. Okay. Which allows me to roll four dice to make damage against this one. Yep. Because these guys are backwards and attack during the preparation phase because they're sneaky. They don't have any debuffs to their attack. One. What's your dodge? Um, On quartzlings? Two. Ah! Wonderful. So nothing happens with that. My cauldron cronies have been a bit pants. Uh, but they... Uh, no, I, would, I should have rolled another dice. But more fool me for not recognising. Mm, Always yeah. run it on in the detriment of the person making the mistake. I'm now going to use Jack. And Jack is going to start by, at a range of two, he's going to bop you, Blackjaw, on the head. With four. Okay. Does a three beat his dodge? A three dodge. Wonderful. Now I'm going to roll six. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two shields. Uh, one shield. Oh, one. Do I lose this now? Yeah. You'd also lose that minus dodge as well. Oof. So that's seven against one, so you take six damage. One, two. And when Jacques does it, Battlefield Brew, if his banner's on the field, he takes. After he takes each action, you may remove one wound from another friendly ally within range. So we're going to heal Sticks a bit. How are you now? I am, yeah, I'm feeling a bit cheeky. Here you are, Sticks, sort you out. And then I'm going to use Tortoise Shavings to give Sticks a shield. And because I've used another action within range, Sticks also heals one again. To say Sticks is undead, he's feeling pretty spicy, pretty healthy. I think that was quite a clever play. That's my one clever play for the game. Everything else is just going to be complete gusto. My Abyssal Hounds are not looking too hot on their hold. Well, they can't really get into any fights because their dodge is lower. They can, but I'd rather they didn't. But they can't also attack out a turn like the Cauldron Cronies or Jacques, so... Roy! Where was that? Oh yeah, my Abyssal Hounds. I don't really want to use them too much because they're quite... Uh, they can't dodge as well. So instead what they're going to do is use Howl against Nia, which is a roll of five. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Four dodge. So she now has minus one aim. 
So remove that. And then I'm going to move them. One, two. One, right in the heat of the battle. I have just contradicted myself. I've just said I don't want to get them too fighter, and they're right in the middle of the fight now. We've into the clash. It is you to start. Okay, we'll start this side. Black jaw. Sooner or later, one of us is going to have to take out some followers because we're looking pretty, pretty chock full. Yeah, we are. I'm going to attack. So I'm going to use my fireball. May target up to three models in this. Hex. So I'm going to use this one. On those two little dudes. Yeah. Level five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you hit. And then four. And it targets two models. You may target up to three models. Yeah. Four. So they've got zero defense, so you kill both of them, and you'd move two for each because you used. Yeah, that's that's spicy, that is. And then. That was only one action as well. Yeah, it was. Oh no. Oh. Within one, so I'm gonna have to attack. Um, sticks. Sticks. Okay. I don't have to use fiery axe because that one is only for followers. So this one, four. One. Yeah, that's a complete miss. Yeah, that's a miss. Ooh. Okay. Good dodge. I'm gonna I'm gonna retaliate with sticks. I'm just gonna go straight for a strike. Range of one against black jaw. I roll five to hit, and then I'll roll five to strike. One, two, three, four. What's his dodge? Black jaw. Um, three. Wonderful. So now I'm gonna strike for five. One, two, three, four. What's his defense? Two. So he takes two damage. I think that's him dead. Count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So, uh, no, you leave Mom. Because it's an action to remove them all, isn't it? I can move him up to two hexes away, I believe. Oh, and we'll knock him over. Draw. But that means I get to advance on the track. Is it four or is it five for taking out? Great. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just asking. It's four. Well, at least I'd used him at least first. One, two, three, and it was a damn good use. Four. But it's still pretty tight, you know, we're only on the cusp of that. And as for Styx's next action, I'm going to use Apparition to move this hex to here. Okay. It's now your turn. Right. I'm going to use my Unburnt Reaver just here. To attack the hound. Right. So I get an extra. So I get four. Yep, you get an extra chance to hit. Two. Now I've got minus attack. one dodge, so that'd be three, so I also lose this. But I don't hit. Nope, no hit. Lovely. And then. I'll use Warcry, which gains me that back, basically. Very good. For next time. Yep. I'm going to start with Jacques, and I'm going to use Spider Staff to hit this guy. So I roll four, because it's a range of two. Two, what's his dodge? Three. Oh no, oh, he's completely missed. Jacques, what are you playing at? I'll then, in turn, then use... Oh, do I really want to move him? I quite like him, though. He's quite, he's quite cemented in. Yeah. I'll use Foot of Rabbits to give him an extra speed. Can I have a foot, please? Plus foot. That's Jack Finito. I imagine Jack and Mournblade would be quite a nasty combination, because Jack's all about stopping... Uh, Controlling a small area, but Mormon Blades followers stop people from moving, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And he's got a big old sword. Don't know how that contributes, but it's pretty sweet. Right, Nia needs to be within two, so she can attack the hounds as well. 
Leave my hands alone, man. Yeah. So, four. Roll four. Three. Four. Um, okay. And then we'll use erosion as well, which allows me to roll five. Same attack, same person. Same roll. Three. Four. Okay, Neil was useless to me. <laughs> you got a bonus action because you've got your quartz things out. Yeah, but I've used them both. And don't forget uh, you've got your super at the centre of each character. Yeah, I can't use that. Um, mm, choose a blot on any model within range. Within two. Who else is it within two? No one. Oh, yeah, little blue dudes are. What's that going to do? Uh, no, I can choose a blight on any model within range and gain it. A blight? Yeah. Blights are bad. And then choose an enemy model to gain it. Oh, right, okay, sorry, sorry. I give it to someone, basically. Yeah, make someone else a bit suffered. Which is not very helpful, because, yeah, I don't want... There's nothing that's going to be bad. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Right then, I will use my Abyssal Hounds. I'm going to start by using Triple Bite in Revenge to try and strike at Nia. So it's four to hit and a range of one. That's two. Your dodge is probably four, isn't it? My what, sorry? Your dodge on Nia. Nia's four, yeah. Yeah. Saw that coming. Saw that coming a mile off. I'm then going to just leave them exactly where they are. And at the end of their activation, they can drag. Move up to two small followers within two hex of the abyss of an abyssal hound, one hex towards that abyssal hound. Uh, that guy can go there. Okay. That you done? Yep. I feel like I'm I'm gonna win by stalling by just holding you off for long enough. Mm. Stones throw first, so quartzlings are gonna attack. These are separate now, aren't they? Mm. So I'm gonna attack your little blue guys over here. So roll four. One. I never feel like the payoff for this is worth it. Oh, no. Stone throw never just cashes in. We need to be. You need to be using those buffs more, man. Mm, it's not going well. Can they move through each other? Uh, they can move through friendly ones. They, yeah, yeah, they can. One, two, three. Ah, he's he's doing his rolling. Yeah. Very good. Cauldron Crone is last. They are going to use aggressive chance against Nia. So they roll four. And then Nia will lose a dodge if I'm successful. One, two, three. Four dodge. Ugh. Right. And then I will use Recruit to bring back one of these next to Jacques. Okay. Uh, I've got my banner out. Yeah, you get that one. one, two, three, four, five. You've not got it out. I keep forgetting about them. Man, banners. All about those they're banners. Neat. They're important, aren't they? They are pretty important. It's also important to make sure, like you did with Black Jaw, cashing in on their strengths. Right, flip that over for number two. Well, it was... Well, it did kind of pay off. I need to bring him back. It well and truly paid off. You need to get him over there, striking my dudes. <laughs> Go on, you kick him off. Yes, I'm going to kick off with my Cauldron Cronies. And they are going to use Eye of Newt. Range of two. They're going to use it on Nia. They're going to roll four. She's got four dodge. You should know that now. I do. I've... I've oh. Actually, you know what? First, they're going to make Jack deploy his cauldron so they get extra dice to their strike. Because they are sneaky. That is a bit sneaky. Yeah, roll five. Three. No. <laughs> Good try. Damn it! Okay, then instead, my plan is going to change. It has to. And I'll use Jack to bop that reaver on his head. Three dodge. Three to hit. So that's four, five, six. Oof. 
Yeah, when he hits, he hits hard. I got three. He's got two defense. Get out of here! But I only move one because he's not a Maelstrom character. And then I'll finish off by using. He's now got four move. He could be quite nasty. I will be. I'm going to move one. Only to there, two. So I'll, I'll burn my foot. Burn your foot. But he's done. And at the end of each of those activations, I should have healed. I didn't for the first one, so I'll do it for the second one. I'm going to use sticks, and he's going to use dead beckoning. Ranger 3. He's going to move first. One. Then he's using dead beckoning to move near to there. And then my Abyssal Hound is going to use Howl against Nia. I am going to take her out. Five to hit. Three? No. Four. Yeah. <laughs> and their second action, I'm just not going to move them. I'm just going to choose not to move them and they're not going to drag anybody. Okay. Right, quarter slings. Okay, um, so we're gonna go with over here. So we need to roll four, three against the little blue guys. Uh, dodge a four. Okay, that's not helpful. Mm. Right, that's. I'm gonna just. How many can I move? I can move two. We didn't roll the dice for the two extra god size. Do you want to do it quickly? Oh, no. Got two carried away. Two carried away. So he gets about four. <laughs> Those locations wouldn't have affected anything, so they're fine. What are you yeah. doing? I'm not sure yet. Absolute lunatic. Okay, anyway. Don't forget Nia needs to claim. Oh yeah, okay. Well, we've not got that yet. So quarter slings are done. They've moved around. Nia needs to claim. So you'd move that too because she is a shaper. And then I'm going to gain the meditation. Don't forget she gets a bonus action as well. Yeah. She keeps it spicy. And then she's going to move here. Okay. I don't want to be sitting on you. I, I'm not saying that. I'm just, I'm just, you know, the banners earn you more points than having health. Okay. Are you planning to come and take my banner? Mate, Styx is like 17 foot tall. He's going to stand on that banner twice. Okay, well, whatever. Blackjaw. <laughs> whatever. I could have put it in between, I suppose, yeah. Oh, uh, it's, it's your call, man. It's your call. Right, Blackjaw's got to revive. So that's one action. Do you want me to put him up? Please. Would he have lost that? He'd lose all of his buffs and debuffs. Buffs and blights are all gone. And then we're going to use... Evil Eye. Yeah. On the doggies. The doggies. The abyssal doggies. Six. Did you restart your timer? Yeah. Oh, that's why you're amazing. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, you hit. What are you doing? So they'd lose a shield. Thank you ever so much. I'm thanking you for hurting. Everybody so that's black draw back and then unburnt reavers what are these little fellas going to do oh, you got to be with him <sighs> they're going to move first yeah yeah and they're going to use intimidation okay there's two of them so there's four dice 
poor little blue guy over there. Oh, one. He's not as poor as you think. I won't be messing with that chap. Okay, that's not gone well. Righty. Me to start? Yeah. Okay. Got nine minutes. Let's go four. I really want to take Nia out. I know it's really just... I shouldn't because it's, 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 just, it's just unkind. But I really want to do it. Why? I don't know. You do whatever you need to do. I think because I took Black Joe out, I feel like I need a clean sweep and I need to take them out as well. But of course, there's there's just... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Slow me down. Oh, no, their move's only one. Ah. And they don't get any extra range. That's a bit annoying. I'm going to have to move my hounds first. So my hounds are going to go one. This hound's going to go one. Then I'm going two. I'm going to have to use them and just use um, a triple bite, which is a four to strike. Make three hit rolls. Oh no, I meant to roll this three times. Really? Yeah, that's sorry. I, I read hit rolls as the damage, but no, I roll this three times, and for every hit, I would add two to the result that I roll for the next one. Okay. So I'm going against Nia. What's Nia's dodge? Four. I'm I'm not going to change my mind. I've already stuck to it. So I've rolled. Oh, oh, I've rolled five. So that's two. Three. So that's no. No. But I get to roll two against your defence. What's your defence? Defence is two. Oh, might make some damage. <laughs> no. Two blanks. That's not gone well for you. No, but because now I understand that, if we have another round, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling confident that I can make better use. I think use. you might be safe, but okay. Uh, I also get to drag an enemy within two towards me. I am going to... No, they're just out of range. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass on that. Your okay. turn. Okay. Nia, could you keep attacking her? Not far. Blinding light. Okay. So I can roll four plus one here, so that's five I can roll. So Nia's going to get spicy with it, is she? Yep. She got to have a go. Five. You never told me who you were attacking. The dog. Hit. And then I take five again. Three. I don't and have any you lose a... I don't have any defence at the minute, so that's three damage. And you lose a name. Oh, so that's my head down, doggy, with three less health. And then we'll use... What's the benefit to having them as separate, but they're worth two if you kill them? Hmm... I don't have to move her. Do I over here? Just to protect. Good idea. Yes, good thinking. Seeing as you told me off. I didn't say you, you, you man. You I thought I was you. being stupid. I never said I would never say that. Go on, your turn. Okay. I am going to start by moving these guys to here. So they're all on one hex. I've got three blokes on one hex, so I get to roll six. Oof. And it's going to be my aggressive chance against Nia. One, two, three. Four dodge. <laughs> Every can time. I, wait, while I'm thinking about it, can I roll the extra dice because I've got the banner out? Three. Four. Okay, yes. I'll let you have it this time. I remember just in the nick of time. But it's only one less dodge you get. You only lose a dodge. That's all you lose. Okay. These guys cannot do damage during the clash phase, which swings them roundabouts, makes them a bit quirky, but doesn't make them overly helpful in the moments where it might matter. Is that you done? That is the Cauldron Cronies Finito. So I've done the uh, Quartzlings. Right, they'll use their Stones Throw again, but now there's two of them, so they roll five. Just here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who are you throwing it against? The group of... My blue group. The blue man group. Yeah, there's a lot of them there. Don't you dare touch Bagman. Yeah. 
five. That's a hit. And then they roll four. Three. That's a hit. Who are you taking out? The one closest to them. Bagman? Yeah. Oh, man. He's the, he's the coolest designed one. <laughs> it's just the ridiculous level of detail, like, you know. Got little fibres on his bag and everything. Just in case we get another chance to hit. There we go, your turn. It's got spiders on it. Oh man, that's so sweet. Right, okay. I'm hoping my play plays off. So I've given you one less dodge. Yeah. I'm going to choose to use sticks. And I'm going to attack Nia with a scythe slash. Ooh, that sounds nasty. So I roll five. Okay. One, two, three, four. Dodge. Four dodge. But you've got one less. One, three. So you remove that. Now we get to hit you for five. Okay. She's got two defence. Three. <laughs> Just one. So one. Yeah. At least you did some damage that you wanted to do, I No, you know what? I've had enough. Second action, I'm using the reaping. Oof. Knock out one enemy model within range. Oh. It does not grant... It doesn't grant you any rewards on the battle ladder, though. Oh, what's a boy? Because, well, you know what? I can get to my thing now, I it's suppose. It's pride at this point, you know? Okay. But that's now... I flip that because I've used my super. My super's yep. done. Styx is finished. What right. time are we on? Uh, three minutes. Right, okay. I'm going to stop and start. Do you want to end that timer? Right. Anyway, Styx is finished. He has done his duty and he has taken out Nia. It's all down to you. Um, Who have you got uh, left? Weavers and Blackjaw. So if you can take any back, you might be able to win this round. Let's use Blackjaw first. Okay. So he's going to attack. If he's going to attack that dog, remember he's got a separate health pool to that mm. dog because they're large followers. I know. I think I'm going to have to. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we'll use a fiery axe first. Oh, you get to do two attacks. So four. Three. What's the dodge? Four. Okay, so that don't work. And then we use the fireball, which is five dice. I'm just gonna get a quick photo whilst we're going. Three, you say? Three dodge? Uh, four dodge, man. Oh. Okay, neither attack yet. You miss me both? Yep. Ooh. Okay. Right, Jack, he is going to choose to, I'm gonna try and secure the victory. And I'm going to choose to use Spider Staff against your Unburnt Weaver in front of me to try and just make an extra cheeky point on the ladder. Four. I've rolled a four. What's their dodge? Three. And then he rolls a six. You know what? Four, a Guardian Champion. He hits hard. Four. Two defence. I'm going to take this guy out. Yeah, they do hit quite hard. He hits really hard. A lot harder than he should. Is that it? I'm not he, action. He could do another, but he's going to stop. Okay. I think he's quite safe. Right, okay. My unburnt reavers... They need to be within range of one. They are within range of one. There's two of them there, isn't there? So yes. they can use four, plus they've got that thing on five dice. Let's go for a big hit. Three? No. Four dodge. Oh, no. E okay, there's nothing else they can do. They can't have they've got no more attacks, so You're gonna end it? Yeah. Okay, that's nothing counter. I can do. So I've got my banner out, which gives me five. I think you might have took this one, girl. One, two, three, four, five. You've got your banner out, which yep. gives you four. One, two, three, four. If you had taken out two of my followers, you'd have took it. But I win with a score of six to zero. Zero. I forget how insanely powerful sticks can be at just being a bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah. He is just a problem, you know. It's not like he can do a lot, but at the same time he doesn't really do much. He just no. sort of gets in the way, causes issues, and the abyssal hounds just move things out of the way. He just stands there looking tall and big. He is, he is mega. I mean, you know, you compare him to Blackjaw... 
He's he's tall and Black Joe's a big model. With that as well, I do like the way the Abyssal Hounds are good at moving those away because my instant worry was because we played with Jack last time, you were going to send Black Joe in just to keep squashing the banner. Mm. So I was hoping that I was going to use the Abyssal Hounds to move them away, but he sort of got in his own little fight with these cauldron cronies and sticks. And you know, that first massive hit you did against sticks, I did think, oh, oh this is not looking good. That's the reason I retreated away. They mixed up a bit more this time than the last time, though. They did, they did. And you know, I actually feel like Nia didn't shine as well as she could have in no. this one. you got to remember that she's really good at placing her banner and defending it, but I think you got really unlucky with quite a lot of the Quartzling rolls. Yeah, I might, I'm, I'm forgetting about my banner. That doesn't help. I think if we played for a 3-for-3 three three and we use these characters again, we both need a character that just distributes buffs. As an example, I mean, I know that Rattleburn's quite good at giving debuffs. Maybe we'd need someone who can do a bit of that and a bit of just management. As example, Morrigan can give some buffs to herself. Uh, Mournblade can give some debuffs. We just need to be able to attack each other better because the issue wasn't how we were playing, in my opinion. I think the issue was the fact that we just weren't able to strike each other. Mm. I've never seen a gnome as nimble as Nia. Like, she's just constantly dodging stuff. On the flip side of that, I did think that Jack is just, you know, MVP. Placing his banner, standing on there and just boshing people just to try and get close. He's good. He is. Cauldron Cronies are alright. I'm a fan, but I do, find, I do find him a bit too quirky in the fact that he can heal and he can strike inside the actual preparation phase. It's almost overpowered. What do you think? Yeah, I don't. I don't think Neil was very useful. No. Um, Black Jewel was okay, but he was taken out quite easily. That's the issue with him. With yours, um, he's got a big health pool. I don't but think either of mine were very strong against yours, to be honest. I think Jack is very much an all rounder. Yeah. And sticks, as I say, is just a Swiss Army knife. He just does. But no, I enjoyed that. I'm sorry that I won again. I genuinely thought in that first round you were going to take Stixer, and I genuinely thought in that round that if you use Black Jaw and take out my Abyssal Hound, you'd, you'd get three on the track, you know. It'd have been it'd have been your win by one point. But anyway, that was our God Tear play of Jack and Styx versus Nia and Black Jaw. I've enjoyed that. What about yourself? Yeah, it was good. Good. Awesome. And the pack-up's really quick, which is something we love about this game, and hopefully the audio that works this time. Until next time, we'll catch you again soon.